हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सलोनी जैन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न प्रोग्रामिंग विद सलोनी इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑपरेटर्स इन पाइथन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरिएबल्स इन पाइथन सो व्हाट आर वेरिएबल्स एंड हाउ कैन वी यूज वेरिएबल्स इन पाइथन सो लेट स्टार्ट सो वेरिएबल वेरिएबल इज अ नेम गिवन टू ए मेमरी लोकेशन ओके and there is no need to specify the data type if you have knowledge of other language you have might known about that ki if you take like for example c++ in c++ whenever you declare a variable you have to specify its data type like if i say you have to if we want uh, integer type variable you have to type int and then the variable name okay so you have to specify the data type of the variable but in python there is no need to specify the data type of any variable okay and it automatically takes a variable data type whenever you assign a value to a variable okay suppose if i type a equals to 10 so it is quite understood that this is a integer value python interpreter it automatically takes it's a integer value okay similarly if you take b equals to any string like in within quotation mark if you write any string like a b c so it will it will assume that this is a string type variable okay so this is all about variables variables are not storage containers in python keep remember this this is most important point the variables are not storage containers in python because memory has values at defined memory location each memory location has a memory address jo value hoti hai wo kahan par hoti hai jo defined memory location hoti hai wahan par hoti hai aur har memory location ka kya hota hai ek alag se address hota hai so so these are the memory locations okay and these are the values and these are the memory address okay see if i say s equals to 25 so variable s will be created as label pointing to the memory location where 25 is stored and this is the address of this memory location clear and if you change in another language if i change s equals to 30 so it will in python it will move to the this location but in another language like c++ it change here value to 30 okay it will never go to the next location but in python it will move to the next location clear okay next one is how to assign values to a variable like if you if i want to type a string value so always put a string in single quotation mark or double quotation mark or you can say triple quotation mark so this is a string type data type okay so automatically it assume that it will take it's a string variable okay and this is a integer value so it is a integer type this is a float value it is a float type it none none means nothing no value without variable value it is a none okay so let's take an example okay let's take an example let's take an example so just if i type a equals to 10 and i press a it will show you 10 a equals to 10 okay and if i type b equals to like python okay so i type b it is a string type it will always show you the string in single quotes all right if i take c equals to 10.5 okay and i just type a plus c so it will show you 20.5 so automatically it converts into the floating point variable floating point value it will show you the floating point value okay so in this way if i type b equals to 20 and if i type 10 plus sorry a plus b so it will take 10 plus 20 equals to 
30. So we can do the calculations on the numbers. Okay. If I use x equals to 10, y equals to 20, and if I use again y equals to Python, suppose. Okay, Python. And I'm if I try to divide x divided by y, so it will show you the error. And another way, if you want to know the type of the variable, right? See, if I put a equals to 10 again, so if you want to know the type, use the type function a bracket within bracket a. So it is class int. Or if you type x, what is x? It is string error. Y, what is y? It is Python. Okay. So if I know that want to know the type of y it will show you the class string means it is a string type variable okay in this way you can find out the type of the variable otherwise we have not we need not to define the specify the uh, data type okay so next one is okay so one more example is for the none if I type the D equals to none, see none and n should be capital. Okay. And if I type D, it will print nothing, means it has no value, it has nothing. Okay. So means no value. None means no value. When I want to print D, it will show nothing. Okay. The next one is multiple assignment. Okay. So, if you want to assign same value to multiple variables, so you can use a equals to b equals to c equals to 5. So, it means 5 a equals to 5, b equals to 5 and c equals to 5. Similarly, you can assign multiple values. If you want to assign, if you want to assign multiple values, you need multiple variables. Okay. Like if I type a comma b equals to 5 comma 10. So it means a equals to 5 and b equals to 10. Let's take an example. Just a minute. Yeah. So if I type a equals to b equals to c equals to 10. Okay. So it means a is 10, b is 10, c is 10. If I plus a plus b plus c, it will show you 30. Okay. So it is a, there is a common value for three different variables. Okay, but if you want to assign multiple values to multiple variables, so if you write a comma b comma c equals to 10, it will show you the error. Okay, it will show you the error. But if you want to assign, you have to assign multiple values. Okay, like this equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3. So it means a is 1, b is 2 and c is 3. Okay, if you press plus A plus B plus C, B plus C, sorry, it will show you the 6 answer. Okay, so if I want to swap A with B, okay, A with A with B and B with A, so A comma B equals to B comma A. So if I, A is my... 1 and B is 2. Now I just type A, it will show you 2 and B, it will show you 1. So in this way you can swap the values as well. Dynamic typing. Data type of a variable change upon the value assigned to a variable in each next statement. For example, if I type X equals to 65 and just press X, it will show you 65. Now I just change the with the same variable, I change the value, I type python as a string value. And now, now y equals to suppose 50. If I want x divided by 5, it will show you the, sorry y, it will show you the error. Because now earlier it was 65, I change to x equals to python. So we cannot divide we cannot use this arithmetical operator on string values okay so it means this is a dynamic typing it will overwrite 
otherwise in c++ and java you have to specify the data type otherwise it will give you the error you cannot do the any calculation but here you can override because we are not using here the data type that's why okay so students this is the assignment note down the assignment and write the answer in the comment section if you have any doubt feel free to write the write your doubt in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts till then keep watching keep learning